So I'm just lightly forking the earth here so I can lift the perennial weeds. And I'm going to prepare this for a spring planting. Now, I'm not going to leave this soil open and bare over the winter. We're going to plant a green manure here. I'm not sure if that's going to be broad beans or something different yet. A few weeks ago, we got some plugs of cabbages from our local market and they've grown exceptionally well. However, when we planted them, we didn't have any more mulch. We're kind of low in the mulch department and all of these unwanted plants are growing. Um, if you look over here where we did have mulch underneath the sweet potatoes, below the sweet potatoes, there's hardly any growth. So I'm just going to pull them all out and throw them on the top so they create a new mulch. Tidy it up a bit. So there's little competition for these plants. My dad's coming to visit in a few days, so I want to get tidied up a little bit. I've got a bit of trimming to do, a, bit, a few paths to finish off, and it's going to start raining soon, so I've got to get on with this. <laughs> Well, the plan for today was to lay the cardboard down and put bark over the top, but the wood yard's not open. Well, I haven't got any more bark to put down today, so the rest of this will have to wait. I 
I've got a nice big batch of cardboard here. This is going to lay along the wall and I'll put some bark on the top of it. Well, I'm going to finish off the cardboard tomorrow after it's rained a bit and I'm going to put some buckwheat in here. It's a good green manure for shading out weeds. In front of that I'm going to put a row of red clover which is very good for fixing nitrogen to the soil and will definitely overwinter. Today we're going to clear up this area and make way for new plants for the winter garden.
So we created a berminous whale here to stop the water flowing down the hill quite so quickly. This will slow the water down, allow it to seep into the ground and provide more moisture for the trees that we've planted along the berm just here. The Japanese crab apple, the uh, physalis, uh, the little Californian poppies. And today we filled in the swale with pine bark that will soak up the moisture and stop this from getting waterlogged. It also provides a fantastic path for us to walk along just here. Well, I bought these cabbages at the market and I think they were called liso cabbages but the lady at the market told me to plant them this far apart so I guess they're going to be huge and what I'm going to do is plant them underneath the beans the beans are nitrogen fixing and brassicas are leafy green and leafy greens like nitrogen and these will all die back pretty soon so I've got to scramble in here somehow and get them planted. Well, I'm going to sort of throw these. One, two, three, four, and maybe one more way down there. Five. Oh, there's six. Right, so. I'll plant this first one here. It's a little bit awkward. But the rain's coming soon. Well, they've said that for a few days and it's only really drizzled. It's that kind of drizzly rain that soaks you, but we're getting lots done between the showers. We're very grateful for a wee bit of dry, which is something I thought I would never say since I moved here. That's one. Now, I think that's a good arm span apart. What do you reckon? Yeah, I concur. So maybe these will be big giant cabbages. And I'll turn green from the amount of cabbages that we eat. I love planting for the winter. The winter garden is always something to keep you going and keep the ground covered. That's all done. Right, let's have rain. Thank you very much.
Just a few more cabbages. I say these are cabbages, but I should just call them brassicas because I have no idea what they are. Never know. There might be a few cauliflower. There might be some broccoli. There might be some purple sprouting. So that's, I think about 50 onions and probably 25, 30 cabbage -y things planted. So that's this bed almost complete. Uh, so I'm having a wee lie down here under the cabbages. Does that make me a cabbage plant baby? I have a little update on last week's video when we found the knife. So it turns out that the knife belongs to our neighbour. Our neighbour was over picking some tomatoes and she dropped her knife. But it got me thinking, did you ever lose anything in the garden? Because we've lost secateurs, scissors, earring, earring, and spoons, which end up in the compost, all sorts of things. So let us know in the comments if you've lost anything. Well, well done. That's a whole pickup load of pine bark along the edges of these new beds here. That's two. No, we put one pickup at the top. Oh yeah, you're right. We did it in two halves. Yeah, <laughs> we, we've done two pickup loads today. One in the top Berman Swale and one down here on the second terrace. Mairead is standing in the new bed that's planted up with seeds, um, but we'll forget about that. <laughs> so all this pine bark comes from our local woodyard that make pallets, and I pay 20 euros for a pickup load. So, that's it from us, and we'll see you in the next video.